There are also two species of iconic marin in the southwest. The critically endangered hairy marin is only found in the upper Margaret River. Notice its hair-like setae on its carapace? That is a distinguishing feature of larger hairy marin. The other key feature is the central ridge or carina on its cephalon, that means its head. The ridge runs all the way back to a groove midway across the carapace. The hairy marin is under threat from the more widespread smooth marin which was introduced to the river in the early 1980s. It reproductively outcompetes and breeds with its close relative and their hybrids are often difficult to distinguish. Freshwater ecosystems of southwest and western Australia have naturally low in-stream productivity. Instead, they're driven by energy sourced from the surrounding terrestrial environment, such as leaf litter. Freshwater crayfishes are often referred to as keystone species that structure aquatic ecosystems, along with their large claws, or chalopids, and their eight legs, or pereopods, they have numerous mouth parts that both filter and shred food. Although favouring high protein foods such as decaying meat, which is an ideal bait, they are actually omnivorous detritivores, meaning they consume a wide variety of food sources like leaf litter and decaying organic matter, and even other animals including macroinvertebrates and fish. Here you can see a freshwater mussel being carried away. Birds and large introduced predatory fish such as redfin perch and stock trout are the major predators of the southwest crayfish. A run-in with them can also result in loss of limbs, but crayfish must molt in order to grow and can gradually regenerate lost limbs by the molting process.